Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply YouTube Marketing 3.0 video training. Designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of YouTube for your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool which you need to know to dominate YouTube marketing in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos organized into four sections. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Section 1. YouTube Marketing Basics In videos 1 through 3, we'll talk about what is YouTube all about, what YouTube can do for your business, shocking YouTube marketing facts to consider. Section 2. Marketing on YouTube, step by step. In videos 4 through 9, we'll talk about creating a YouTube account, YouTube walkthrough, YouTube channels, YouTube creator studio walkthrough, start advertising on YouTube, video marketing tips to consider. Section 3. Advanced YouTube marketing strategies. In videos 10 through 16, we'll talk about YouTube partner program, live streaming with YouTube, smart ways to get more subscribers on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube with affiliate marketing. How to get YouTube videos ranked. Using the YouTube trending feed for market research. YouTube for developers. Section 4. Additional tips to consider. In videos 17 through 20, we'll talk about do's and don'ts. Premium tools and services to consider. Shocking case studies. Frequently asked questions. Well, it's time for you to start getting the most out of YouTube marketing. I know you'll love this training. Welcome to Section 1 of our YouTube Marketing 3.0 video training, YouTube Marketing Basics. In this section, we'll talk about what is YouTube all about, what YouTube can do for your business, shocking YouTube marketing facts to consider. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. What is YouTube all about? We're glad to tell you that we're going to talk about something that you'll just love. We're going to talk about YouTube and what makes it a great platform for everybody. And who doesn't know about YouTube? It is the second most popular and most widely visited website on the planet. And it is considered the place to go if you want to discover video content created by people from all walks of life. But what is it really? What is YouTube? YouTube is, at its very heart, a dedicated web-based video sharing platform for everybody to use. Yet YouTube has become so much more thanks to the introduction of several features throughout the years that include light social functionality as well as monetization for user-created content. YouTube got started as a simple video sharing website by three former PayPal employees who were said to have had a hard time finding a way to upload short videos that had been shot at social gatherings. Its creators were also inspired by the difficulty that they had to find replays of popular broadcasts anywhere on the internet. It was launched in 2005 and quickly gained immense popularity among internet users. Such was its popularity that it was bought by Google for almost $2 billion the following year after its launch. What can you find on YouTube? YouTube is largely known as a place for watching videos online. And there, you will find all types of video content that you can imagine. Whether you are looking for popular music videos, movie trailers, gameplay footage, sports broadcasts and news, you will find it on YouTube, no matter where you are in the world. Media outlets, regular people, and content creators from all over the world can use the site to broadcast and publish their content, with videos such as concerts, sports events, live blogs, gaming tournaments, educational videos, documentaries, and live seminars can be uploaded and streamed on the platform. YouTube is such a popular video sharing website that users can even monetize their video content thanks to YouTube's advertising sharing model for content creators who are able to upload videos targeted at certain audiences, with some YouTubers making six-figure incomes with original and curated content. What are YouTube's features? YouTube started as a niche site when it allowed users to create accounts on the site and upload simple everyday videos. But it quickly grew into a video sharing monster with awesome features including video playback, the most used feature on the platform is video playback, 
with over 1.5 billion monthly users visiting and playing videos on the site, vastly surpassing traditional TV when it comes to video consumption. Video Uploads YouTube allows all its users to upload videos of up to 15 minutes in duration, which has allowed a whole industry of video content creators to flourish on the platform. Live Video Streaming One of the most hyped features on the platform is the ability that it gives users to broadcast live video streams on their channels with a simple setup that doesn't require expensive equipment or extensive broadcasting knowledge. There is so much more to YouTube that you'll be simply amazed with. Stay tuned to discover the benefits that using YouTube can have for your business. What can YouTube do for your business? YouTube is the second most popular, most visited, most interacted with website on the planet. A site where video content is a main draw and where the most appealing video content offerings have the potential of getting millions of views on a scale that was just not possible before. If you've been paying attention so far, you'll have noticed that we're not talking about YouTube to merely praise its features, but to highlight the things that represent a benefit for people like you and me. Because as an online marketer or business owner, you're always thinking about new ways to promote your content, your products, and your services, all platforms and tools that you access represents an opportunity for marketing, even when marketing is not their intended purpose. In this respect, YouTube also represents an amazing marketing opportunity because video content sells, and YouTube has been slowly replacing TV as the preferred platform for small business, as well as for large enterprises to promote their stuff. Using YouTube as a business, then, is a great way to easily reach a wider audience because on a basic level, it allows you to create and upload videos to highlight your offers and to advertise on other people's videos. So what else can YouTube do for your business? YouTube will help your business to reach Google more easily. All business owners and marketers dream of the day when their content appears on the first page results of Google without them having to fork out large sums of money on advertising. And YouTube can help you to realize this dream because YouTube is part of the Google ecosystem and Google gives significant relevancy to video content on their video streaming platform. So, if you have high quality content on your site and you create a YouTube video and insert it within your content, you will have a nice place on top of Google search results. YouTube will help you grow a worldwide audience. Video content on a platform with a popular and ever-growing global reach like YouTube will give you the opportunity to show your content to people that wouldn't have had the chance to learn about your business any other way. This includes people from overseas markets that might be looking for what you have to offer, increasing your chances of becoming a recognizable worldwide brand. YouTube will let your customers to promote for you. The commercial benefits of using YouTube as a business owner or marketer do not stop when a sale is made because it allows your customers to promote your content by sharing videos with their favorite people, such as with friends and family. This is because when people trust a brand, they are much more likely to become their champions, telling everybody how great our offers are. YouTube will transform your business into an authority. Being perceived as an authority is one of the greatest assets of any brand, and YouTube can help your business to become one when you regularly post videos that can help your visitors and leads with everyday solutions even before they buy from you, which increases sales and engagement with new customers. Shocking YouTube Marketing Facts to Consider YouTube is, as you can see, a great starting platform for any marketer or business owner who is seriously considering investing some time and effort into making it big on the internet because of its marvelously wide global reach. Best of all, YouTube fosters a sort of very strong engagement with its users because video content is one of the best forms of content that any platform can use to capture people's attention and promoting your stuff on YouTube is easier because it looks pretty natural as lots of businesses and marketers are not afraid to use a camera to show off the benefits of the products and services that they have to offer. In this video, 
we are going to show you some shocking YouTube marketing facts that will inspire you to get ideas on how to better plan strategies that will allow you to take your online marketing efforts as far as possible. Up until a few years ago, the mobile landscape was largely ignored by most marketing agencies and by the businesses that hire them. But mobile advertising has become a large portion of the overall mobile marketing industry in more recent years. YouTube has grown so much in popularity that consumption of marketing content on the platform for mobile devices increases at a rate of 100% with each passing year. A little known fact about YouTube marketing is that you can insert the marketing videos that you upload to YouTube on your marketing emails and get between a 200% and 300% increase in click-through rates. Landing pages are one of the most recognizable staples of the online marketing model, and YouTube videos only make them better, as including a YouTube video on your marketing landing pages could help you to increase conversions by a whopping 80%. Do you like product review videos? Everybody likes them, and we have the data to back up this claim. As 64% of people are more likely to buy a product online after they watch a video about that product. More and more online marketers are becoming aware of the importance of video marketing and about the wide global audience reach offered by YouTube, as over 87% of online marketers are using YouTube marketing as part of their online marketing efforts. Small businesses are also becoming more aware about the importance of using YouTube as an excellent launchpad for their online marketing tasks as 9% of U.S.-based small businesses are using YouTube and 22% of them are planning to post the video to the platform in the next 12 months. 90% of people say that product-oriented videos on YouTube help them to make purchasing decisions. The number of YouTube channels making six-figure salaries is increasing by a 50% rate year by year, which is great news for marketers thinking about posting viral content on the platform. These are some of the most amazing YouTube marketing facts, and you can leverage this information to create a more targeted content for the YouTube platform. Welcome to Section 2 of our YouTube Marketing 3.0 video training. Marketing on YouTube, step by step. In this section, we'll talk about creating a YouTube account, YouTube walkthrough, YouTube channels, YouTube Creator Studio walkthrough, start advertising on YouTube, and video marketing tips to consider. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Creating a YouTube account. Okay, so the first step to start promoting your marketing content is by becoming an active YouTube user. And in order to become an active YouTube user, you will need a YouTube account that will allow you to access every amazing feature offered by the YouTube platform. Creating a YouTube account is as easy as easy can get. It is free and you can do it with a few clicks on your mouse. In this video, we are going to show you how to create your own YouTube account the proper way. Getting started. The first step to start creating a YouTube account is to simply head to youtube.com. Now, once there, you will have the option to access your YouTube account by using the sign in button, but only if you have a Gmail account already. This is because when you create a Gmail account, you are signing up for the entire ecosystem of Google services, which includes popular Google platforms such as YouTube, Google Plus, and Google Drive, which means that by creating a Gmail account, you are also creating a YouTube account. Enter your Gmail credentials after in order to sign in on YouTube using your Gmail account. Now you will notice that your profile image is featured in the top right corner. Click it. As you can see, you will be able to access your YouTube account from this tab. And you will have other options available, such as access to your creator studios and your YouTube account settings. Creating a YouTube account from scratch. Now, you would be hard pressed to find someone who doesn't have a Gmail account nowadays, but it's possible. So in case you don't have a Google account, let's show you how you can create one from scratch. The easy way. Start on the Google main page and click on the sign in button on the top right corner. You will be taken to a login screen asking you to enter your Gmail address. But because you don't have a Google account, you will need to click on more options and then on create account. Now you'll be asked to enter your personal information to create a Google account that you can use to have your own YouTube account. Start by entering your first name and your last name. Then enter a username that will also work as your Gmail email address. 
make sure that your username of choice is available. If it is not available, choose from one of the recommended by Google. Now you will have to create a password and to confirm your password after you create it. Now enter your date of birth in the birthday section starting with the month, then the day, and then the year. Now select your gender from the gender menu below. Lastly, enter your phone number, an up-to-date email address, and your location. Then hit the Next Step button to move on to the next step. A pop-up window will appear, instructing you to agree with Google's Terms of Service. Click through the Terms of Service document by clicking the blue scroll-down button, and then click on I Agree. Now your new Google account is being created. You can access your account by clicking on the initial letter icon on the top right corner, so you can change your profile picture by clicking on Change. Now go to YouTube so you can test your new account on the platform as well. Click on Sign In and you're all set. A message that reads you are now registered with YouTube will appear to let you know that your YouTube account has been created. Just as you saw in the previous segment, you can use the profile picture icon on the right top corner to access your account. If you want to further customize your YouTube account, you can click on the YouTube Settings button. Here, you will find several settings options including Advanced Settings, Additional Features, Connected Accounts, Privacy, Notifications, and Playback. As you can see, creating a YouTube account is a walk in the park, and doing so will allow you to enter a world of video marketing that was just difficult to even dream up before. Tune in for a following video so we can give you a nice walkthrough of the YouTube platform as a new registered user. YouTube Walkthrough So you already created your YouTube account, or perhaps you had one all along without being aware about it because you never tried to sign into YouTube while your Gmail session was open. And now you're ready to start uploading some cool marketing videos. You've probably used YouTube before to watch videos, but YouTube goes well beyond that feature, and there are lots of buttons and tabs that you might not have used yet. In this video, we are going to show you every function available on YouTube's front page. Let's start by taking a look at the picture icon in the top right corner to revisit the functions available there when you click it. There, you have the Creator Studio button, which allows you to manage, check, and edit your video content. And we are going to take you through a deeper look into this feature on a following video. Next up is a YouTube Settings button, where you can manage your account settings. You can use the Add Account button in here to add additional YouTube accounts to this shortcut. And the Sign Out button will allow you to log out of YouTube. Now this bell icon button will show you notifications on the platform, such as when your videos receive comments or likes, when you have new subscribers, and when you have set reminders to watch video events, to name a few. The upload button will allow you to upload your video content to the YouTube platform with a few clicks on your mouse. And depending on how you plan to do your marketing, this may perfectly be one of the buttons that you're going to use the most. YouTube features a standard search bar, that you can use to search video content on YouTube by using specific video titles or keywords. Below the search bar, there are three video content feed tabs. The Home tab is the main tab, and in here, YouTube will recommend you video content based on the type of videos that you watch or create on the platform. The Trending tab features videos that are trending on YouTube at the moment, and the Subscriptions tab will show you the most recent videos from the YouTube channels that you are subscribed to. Scroll all the way down to the footer of the site and you will find some buttons that will allow you to edit some of your site preferences. Let's take a look at these buttons from left to right, starting with the Language button, which allows you to switch between several languages for your user interface. The Content Location menu will give you the option to select the country from which to get videos on your feed. The default content location is the country of residence that you enter when you create your account, but you can change it later using this menu if you want to view more content from different countries. The Restricted Mode menu will prevent videos with inappropriate content or videos that have been tagged as such by other users from appearing on your video feed. It is set as Off by default, but you can turn it on and back to Off when needed. The History button will take you to a page where you will be able to check a history of your viewed videos. Here, you will be able to check your watch history, as well as your search history. Clicking on the Help button will display a pop-up window to quickly access YouTube's help page, 
which is an incredible resource to check if you ever need to. Let's lastly check the menu on the top left corner. From here, you will be able to access your YouTube user options menu. First, you have the Home tab, which will simply take you back to the YouTube dashboard when you click it. The My Channel tab will take you to your YouTube channel, and we will teach you step by step how to create your own YouTube channel in the following video. The Trending tab will take you to the Trending Video section, and the Subscription tab will take you to your subscriptions page. The Library menu features three tabs. The first one is the History tab, which will take you to your viewed video's history so you can check which videos you have watched previously. The Watch Later tab will take you to a page where you can watch videos that you have marked as Watch Later. This is a useful feature because it allows you to save a video so you can watch it later when you are pressed for time. You can save videos this way by hovering over a video on the video feed and clicking on the clock icon. Doing so will save your Watch Later video on the Watch Later section. The Liked Videos tab will show you a collection of your liked videos. You can like a video by clicking on the like button below a video while you are watching it. The Subscriptions menu will show you a list of the YouTube channels that you are subscribed to. This menu will appear empty when your YouTube account is new because you haven't added any channel to your subscriptions up to that point. You can use the Add Channel and the Browse Channel buttons to find channels to subscribe to, which will be added to this menu later. You can also subscribe to a YouTube channel while you are watching a video by clicking on the Subscribe button below the video. Doing so will add that channel to your subscriptions list, which you can access either through the Subscription tab below the search bar or through the Subscription menu on the left. As you can see, Navigating your YouTube user dashboard gives you access to a lot of nice features that you might not have noticed before watching this video, and we recommend you to keep experimenting with them later because on our next video, we are going to show you all that you need to know about YouTube channels. YouTube Channels Anyone with a working internet connection can use YouTube to watch great video content. It's a free service that can be accessed worldwide through basically all types of desktop and smart devices. Because of this, most people do not bother to create YouTube accounts, as the platform allows everybody around the world to enter the website and start looking for videos by simply using the search bar. But people looking to access more advanced features and people that want to have a more personalized experience can create YouTube accounts that will allow them to like videos, to set up reminders to watch videos at a later date, and to subscribe to YouTube channels. But if you want to upload your own videos to have a more personalized experience, you'll need to have a YouTube channel. And in this video, you are going to learn all about them. What is a YouTube channel? A YouTube channel serves the purpose of providing a more personalized experience to anyone that joins YouTube because it is a lot like having your own YouTube homepage. And it also serves the purpose of providing YouTube users with a profile that can be used to interact with other users. Now, YouTube channels allow anyone with a YouTube account to do much more than to upload videos to the platform. YouTube channels will show the account name of the user, the account type, a description about the channel, the videos are uploaded by the owner of the channel, a list of channels followed and friended by the owner of the channel, and a discussion section. What type of YouTube channels are out there? There are two types of YouTube channels, personal channels and business channels. Well, personal channels are the quickest and easiest way to have your own channel, and business channels are YouTube channels that rely on the basic channel structure while also providing additional customization options such as the option to manage your channel from multiple YouTube accounts and to name your channel after your brand or business. Creating a Personal YouTube Channel Creating your own channel is a very easy and straightforward process that won't take you much more than a few clicks on your mouse. Creating a personal YouTube channel is the minimum requirement for you to upload your marketing videos on the platform, and you can start by going to your account icon on YouTube and clicking on YouTube Settings. Now click on the Create a Channel link and enter the name of your new channel in the pop-up window. 
You can use your name as it appears on your account, or you can use a customized name if you want. Click on Create Channel when you are done customizing your channel's name. Now that you have created your new channel, it is time to customize it. You can start by going to the top left corner to customize your channel icon. This icon is the same profile picture from your Google account by default, but you can change it by using the pencil icon to upload a new one. You can add an attractive banner to your channel by using the Add Channel Art button, which will allow you to upload a new image that you can use as your main channel art. You can add a description for your channel by using the Channel Description button. Using the crank icon over your description space will take you to your channel settings. Here, you can customize your channel privacy settings, which will allow you to either keep your liked videos, subscriptions, and save playlists private, or to make them public. If you turn on the Customize the layout for your channel, you will be able to further customize your channel. This will allow you to add a channel trailer, to recommend video content to your subscribers, and to organize your videos and playlists into sections. And we totally recommend you to turn on this option and to click on Save. As you can see, this will let you customize your channel to look the same as all those other popular channels on YouTube. At first glance, you were given the Add Section button that you can use to separate your video uploads into categories. And the Add Channels button that will allow you to favorite other people's channels and feature them on yours. Changes made using these buttons will show on the video's playlist and channels tabs. Now in the About tab, you will be able to edit your channel description, and you will also be able to add contact details on your channel, including an email address for inquiries, to select a country to show it to your channel visitors, and to add links that your channel visitors can follow through. If you go back to your Channel Settings button, you will see new options available. You will now be able to show a Discussion tab on your channel to allow people to comment on your channel. And you will also be able to translate content on your channel for viewers that speak a different language. And that's it! Now you have everything that you need to start uploading your marketing videos to YouTube using your personal channel. Creating a Business YouTube Channel Creating a business channel is an easy process too. And it will allow you to name your channel after your brand or business, and will also allow you to manage it from several different accounts. To start creating a business channel, simply go to the YouTube Settings button on your account icon. Now click on the Create New Channel link. Note that if you haven't created a personal channel yet, a Use a Business or Other Name link will appear instead. In the following page, enter the name of your brand or business in the Brand Account Name field, and then click on Create. And that's it! Creating a business channel is as easy as creating a personal one, and you can customize it the same way as you would customize your personal channel. The difference being that information that you edit on your business channel will also be updated on a Google About Me page for your business. All the content that you upload on your channels can be managed from the Creator Studio, which we will take a look at in our following video. YouTube Creator Studio Walkthrough Awesome! So now you have your own YouTube channels, and you are preparing to show your new marketing videos to the world over. And you would greatly benefit from knowing how to use your channel's dashboard so you can master its video sharing features from the get-go. To go to your YouTube Creator Studio, click on your account icon on the top right corner, and click on Creator Studio while logged in to your YouTube channel. You will be taken to your Creator Studio dashboard, where you will have a quick view of your videos and analytics. You will also have access to tips for your channel, to recent comments made on your channel, and to news related to your channel and your video content. You can edit the way in which this information is featured on your channel by using the Add Widget button. Let's now look at the tabs on the left side menu from top to bottom. First is the Video Manager tab, where you will have access to your videos and to your playlist. In the Video section, you can check and manage all your uploaded videos. 
You can use the edit menu on each of your videos to configure them in detail. You can use it to edit stuff such as info and settings, enhancements, and audio, among other things. You can edit privacy and license settings as well as do bulk delete videos by selecting videos from your list and using the actions menu. You can add videos to a playback list by using the add to button. Let's now check the playlist section. In this section, you will find your video playlist, which you can create by using the new playlist button. The live streaming tab is where you will be able to set up live video sessions on the YouTube platform. You will have two live streaming options available on this tab, Stream Now and Events, and we will explain them in greater detail on a following video. In the Community tab, you will be able to check and manage your community comments and messages to see who your public subscribers are, to configure community settings that include automate filters, moderator settings, user settings, content blocking settings, and to edit default comment settings. Lastly, the credit section will give you access to a list of videos where you've been credited. In. These videos will be arranged by pending videos, published videos, removed videos, and videos marked as spam. In the channel tab, you will be able to find everything about your YouTube channel. The first section, the status and features section, will show you the status of your YouTube channel, as well as all the active features available to your channel such as monetization and live streaming. In the Upload Default section, you will be able to manage your video upload settings, which will allow you to set default values for each one of your uploads, such as default privacy, category, license, title, description, tags, comments, ratings, language, and locations, among others. In the Featured Content section, you will be able to set a featured video or playlist to be featured across all your videos and a channel ad which will allow you to make one of your videos eligible to be promoted to YouTube viewers. The branding section will allow you to insert a watermark to brand the videos in your channel with a watermark overlay by using the Add a Watermark button. Always remember to only use transparencies and one color images for your watermarks. Lastly, in the Advanced section, you can configure advanced level channel settings that include account information, such as channel keywords, advertisement settings, AdWords account linking settings, to connect your channel with an AdWords account for advertisement purposes, channel recommendations, subscriber counts, and Google Analytics property tracking. Let's now take a look at the Analytics tab. Here you will find overview and real-time reports of the performance of your videos on the platform. You can use the Comparison button to select Performance Analytics to compare for specific videos. And you can use the Settings button to set a time period, a frequency for charts and tables, as well as a unit for measuring watch time in which to showcase your analytics. This tab will also allow you to get very specific analytics for each interaction that can be measured on your videos, including watch time, audience retention, demographics, playback locations, and traffic sources, among many others. The Translations and Transcriptions tab will allow you to check the status of community contributions for videos from your channel, which are contributions that other YouTube users provide to your channels, such as translation of titles, descriptions, and captions to different languages. Here, you will be able to select a default language for your videos, so contributors know what language they are going to target when they generate contributions. The Contributions under Review are featured in the In Review tab and Uploaded Contributions are featured in the Publish tab. In the Create tab, you will be able to find an audio library with free music and sound effects that you can add to your videos, a Music Policies section where you can check the current policies attached to certain songs in YouTube so you know how to manage popular songs on your channel, and a Video Editor where you can edit your uploaded videos to remix Creative Commons videos, to add photos to your videos, to search the audio tracks for your videos, as well as to add transitions and titles to your edited videos. The last tab on your Creator Studio dashboard is Your Contributions. From here, you will be able to check and manage your community contributions on the Submissions tab. Community contributions that haven't been submitted yet on the Drafts tab and a list of videos requiring contributions in the Contribute tab. As you can see, the Creator Studio dashboard gives you access to a lot more features than you thought that YouTube had and we encourage you to keep trying them to master the platform.
start advertising on YouTube. One of the things that has made YouTube such a popular platform is that it allows people to monetize basically every type of content that they upload to the platform because it operates on a shared revenue model. This means that YouTube shows ads on videos uploaded by YouTube users on behalf of advertisers and splits the earned revenue with users. You can become one of those advertisers and start promoting yourself on YouTube, which can help you to grow your business at an unprecedented level. But what are video ads? Video ads are YouTube videos that are promoted on other videos on the platform. Some of these videos are called pre-roll ads, precisely because they roll before YouTube ads eligible for monetization start rolling, and the rest of these video ads appear beside playing videos. YouTube advertising allows you to have total control over your daily advertising budget, so you only spend what you're comfortable spending on advertising, and you only pay for real engagement, because you only pay for video ads that run for more than 30 seconds. YouTube advertising has a nice variety of targeting options, that will allow you to reach only the best and most qualified leads and customers for your promotions and business. Because you can target users by age, gender, location, interests, and more. The good news is that you can measure the success of your video advertising campaigns with the help of built-in analytics that make it easier for you to see how your video ads are performing, which will allow you to optimize your ads by making adjustments based on your metrics at any time. To start advertising on YouTube, Go to the Launch an Ad tab on the youtube.com slash yt slash advertise URL and click on the Get Started button. You will be taken to a campaign creation page where you will be able to select a video to promote, to create your video ad, to decide how much you are going to spend to promote it, and to choose your target audience. You can skip this step and create your video later so you can start creating your video advertising account first. So let's simply click on Skip Campaign Creation. Now, you will be asked if you already have an AdWords account, which is Google's display advertising platform. If you haven't configured an AdWords account for your new Google account by the time that you reach this stage, simply select Yes on this screen and then click on Sign In. You will now have to start configuring your new AdWords for Video account. First, you will need to specify your country or territory, your time zone and your currency, and then click on Continue. Now you'll have to enter your billing information. First, you have to select between creating an individual account or a business account. If you select the business account, you'll need to enter your business name along with your business address. Then, you have to set a primary contact, which will be set with your contact information by default. And then you will need to select a payment method. You can use either a debit or credit card or bank account to pay for your adverts. Lastly, you have to agree with the AdWords terms and services and click on Save to review your AdWords for video account, so you can start creating your video ads right away. Linking to your AdWords account from YouTube Now that your AdWords for video account is ready for use, you will need to link your YouTube and AdWords accounts. To do it the easy way, simply go to your YouTube channel icon on the top right corner and click on the Creator Studio button. From there, Go to the Channel tab and enter the Advanced section. Now go to the AdWords account linking and click on Link an AdWords account. To complete this step, you will be required to sign up for the AdWords for Video platform, which you already did. So you will only need to go to your AdWords account and copy the customer ID featured on the top right corner. And paste it in the customer ID box, then click on Next. Now assign a name for your AdWords account. Set permissions to view accounts on calls to action, for remarketing and for engagement for this account, and click on Finish. And that's it! Now your YouTube channel is linked to your AdWords account, so you can start advertising on the platform. Video Marketing Tips to Consider Video marketing is all the rage now because YouTube has made it the perfect marketing method even for those that are not seasoned marketers. And sometimes the only thing that you'll need to succeed with video marketing is good content and YouTube will do the rest by bringing in audiences from all around the world. Yet with all the competition surrounding the industry, 
the healthiest thing to do is to apply some foolproof strategies that will protect your video marketing campaigns against failure. That is why in this video, we are going to show you some video marketing tips to consider. Make your videos about a story, not a sale. Ask anybody on the internet and everyone will tell you that one of the most annoying types of video content is the old-fashioned sales guide trope, where brands use video to bombard viewers with a sales pitch that is best left for long infomercials. And video marketing on the internet works very different than that, and online viewers really consider value as an important part of video content. So in order to offer value to your customers through video content, you have to forget about pitching the benefits of buying your products or services. You have to focus instead on creating videos that showcase your products or services through a story that talks to your customers on a personal level, always considering that your video content has to be fed to the target demographic by telling a story centered on how your product or service will play a part in their lifestyle. Create a hook during the first 10 seconds of video. Marketing researchers have found that most online users will click away from a video if they are not hooked during the first 5 to 10 seconds of watching it. So you have to create the most compelling first 10 seconds of content for all your marketing videos in order to retain as many leads as possible. The best way to engage with people within the first 10 seconds of videos is by sparking curiosity and by letting your potential viewers to know why they should watch the entire thing right on the spot. Asking questions, using teaser images or segments, and simply conveying value during your first 10 seconds of video are marketing gold. Be funny. Most of the time, people sort through online content to be entertained, even if they don't admit it. People want a little variety to spice up their routines, and the internet is great at providing these short bursts of entertainment, as they allow people to have these little escapes without having to abandon their obligations. This means that you have to make your marketing videos entertaining in order to get people's attention to a more visceral level. Humor can even make a simple video to go viral, so make sure to make your audience laugh hard. Optimize your online videos. Sometimes it's not enough to upload a video to a video sharing site and wait for it to become viral, if you don't give it a little push, even if you upload it on a massively popular site such as YouTube. What we're trying to get at is that you have to optimize your videos as much as you would optimize your written content. Simple optimization that you can apply to your marketing videos include hosting your videos on your own domains before uploading them to video sharing sites and to enable embedding on your videos to increase the chances of people sharing it virally. Search engine optimizations can also be applied to marketing videos. The easiest search engine optimizations for marketing videos include crafting high traffic descriptions and using relevant keywords on your titles and tags. Keep your marketing videos short. Internet people are famous for having short attention spans because they are often jumping from one piece of content to the other. This depends a lot on the type of content, of course, because a how-to video can run for 30 minutes and those interested will watch it through. But most marketing videos are designed to attract people's attention in order to drive an action such as a click, a sign-up, or a purchase. And short videos that get their point across are the most effective when it comes to this. So make sure that your marketing videos do not go over the two-minute mark as most online viewers are prone to lose track and skip your video after that. Include a call to action. A common mistake that lots of marketers commit is to let their videos to fade to black once the videos are over. The best way to keep the sales funnel going after your videos finish is by adding a call to action at the end, one which your viewers can click through to reach your offer the easy way. Welcome to Section 3 of our YouTube Marketing 3.0 video training, Advanced YouTube Marketing Strategies. In this section, we'll talk about the YouTube Partner Program, live streaming with YouTube, smart ways to get more subscribers on YouTube, how to make money on YouTube with affiliate marketing, how to get YouTube videos ranked, using the YouTube trending feed for market research, and YouTube for developers. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. YouTube Partner Program YouTube is a great platform for growth because it has something in store for everybody. And it is also a place where marketers, content creators, and developers can earn a good deal of money by way of video advertising revenue. The good thing is 
that YouTube has created a win-win situation for everyone involved because monetization has forced content creators as well as advertisers to only serve the best class of content possible and audiences benefit from getting quality content. We already showed you how advertisers can take advantage of the YouTube platform to promote their videos. And now, we are going to show you how YouTube allows content creators and marketers to monetize the content that they upload to the platform. The YouTube Partner Program is what will enable you to earn ad revenue from showing ads on your video content. Anyone can upload videos to YouTube, and ads will be shown on basically all videos throughout the YouTube platform. But only those that sign up for the Partner Program can actually earn money from those ads. Joining the YouTube Partner Program is easy, but you will need to qualify. The first step is to check if you are from a country where the Partner Program is available. You can check this list by going to the YouTube Help Center and accessing the YouTube Partner Program menu. Follow the introduction to the YouTube Partner Program link and then click on YouTube Partner Program Availability, where you will be able to check a list with all the countries where the Partner Program is available. Once you have made sure that you are eligible for monetization, go to YouTube's front page and click on your account icon on the top right corner and then enter the Creator Studio. From there, go to the Channel tab on the left side menu and then to the Status and Features section. Once there, look for the Monetization box and click on Enable. You will need to follow a series of steps to apply for monetization, so let's show you all the way through. The first step is to read and agree to the YouTube Partner Program Terms by clicking on Start. Read the YouTube Partner Program Terms document, check the three agreement boxes and then hit Accept. Now the second step is to sign up for AdSense which is Google's ad program for publishers. You need to create a new AdSense account in order to be paid on the Partner Program. Let's begin by clicking on Start. You will be redirected to AdSense so you can link your channel to an existing AdSense account if you have one or to create a new AdSense account if you don't have one. So click on Next to proceed. In the following screen, click on Sign In to log into your Google account, which you are going to use to set up your new AdSense account. The next step is to select the website for your AdSense account. Because you are going to use your YouTube videos to show AdSense ads, this website will be your channel's URL by default. So you will only need to select the language and then click on Save and Continue to proceed. Now you will need to enter your information. You will have to specify your country or territory, your time zone, your account type, your name and address, and your AdSense email preferences. Then click on Submit My Application. In the next step, verify your phone number by text message or voice call, and then read and accept the AdSense terms and conditions by reading the terms document. Checking the Yes, I have read and accept the agreement box and clicking on Accept. OK, so now that your AdSense account request has been submitted, you will have to set monetization preferences so you can specify what types of ads to run on your videos, so you can start making money as soon as your channel is approved for monetization. So click on Start to set this up. You can activate or deactivate monetization all your future videos and to select what types of ads to show on your videos. Display ads will be shown by default and cannot be deactivated. But you could turn on or off overlay ads, sponsored cards, and skippable video ads. Make your selection and click on Save. And that's it. That is how you can join the YouTube Partner Program to start making plenty of ad revenue with your content and marketing videos. Keep in mind that your channel will need to reach a total of 10,000 public views in order to get reviewed by the monetization team to check that you are complying with YouTube's monetization policies. Live Streaming with YouTube Everybody knows YouTube as a video sharing platform, but not everybody knows how far YouTube has gone when it comes to serving great video content because it does not only deliver already recorded videos to share. YouTube also allows people to share live streaming video, 
which is nothing but video broadcasts that are shared in real time, allowing video content creators to offer a much more interactive experience to viewers. Live streaming on YouTube is easy, and it doesn't require you to have expensive equipment or anything like that to get yourself on the air. Starting a live stream on YouTube is as easy as going to your YouTube channel dashboard and then clicking on the live streaming tab on the left side menu. You will notice that there are two ways to launch your live streams on YouTube, Stream Now and Events. Each live streaming option serves a purpose. So let's take a look at each one. Stream Now. The Stream Now is the easiest way to start a live stream on YouTube because it allows you to jump right into a live stream without you having to run a complicated setup. This is possible because the Stream Now option allows YouTube to automatically detect your bandwidth and other technical parameters to give your viewers an optimal viewing experience. When you click on the Stream Now tab, you will only need to set up your encoding software, to add streaming info to your broadcast, to add optional features to your broadcast, and to click on Play to go live. Let's start by setting up your encoding software. You will need encoding software that can feed video data from your computer or device to YouTube. We recommend you to use OBS because it's free and easy to set up. You will simply need to locate and copy the server URL and the stream key on your live dashboard and paste it on your encoding software. And click on Start Streaming. Go back to your live dashboard and then add your live streaming information including your live stream title, description, and category. You can configure other streaming options in the Stream Options tab, as well as to add cards on your videos in the Cards section right before starting your Stream Now live stream. Once you're ready to go live, simply click on the Play button and you're set to go. Events Let's now check the more advanced events option. From where you will be able to set a broadcast requiring more meat, such as when you need to run a multi-camera setup. Click on the new live event tab to get started. Enter the basic info for your event including title, a start and end time, a description and tags. In the privacy section, specify if your event is going to be public, private or unlisted. Add a message to your video and choose which social media platforms to share your event on. Choose your type of broadcast as quick if you will be using Google Hangouts on air or custom if you want more encoding options available. We recommend you to go with quick so you can live stream it the easy way. Now click on the advanced settings tab. Here you will be able to enable or disable live chat, to choose a category, to set the language of the video, to enable comments, to enable DVR backup recording, and to configure video optimizations. You can also edit information related to license, ownership, syndication, caption certification, distribution, promotions, age restrictions, location, community settings, statistics, and content declaration. Now click on the Go Live button to continue. This will launch a Hangouts on Air session that will allow you to live stream your broadcast using your webcam and computer microphone, or the camera and microphone of the device that you are using to launch your live event. So will you need to allow Hangouts on Air to use them. Wait for Hangouts on Air to load this session and then click on Start Broadcast to go live. A This Hangouts on Air is Live message will appear in the top right corner. And a live caption will appear to let you know that your session is alive and healthy. You will be able to manage your settings, your bandwidth, your camera and your microphone while live on Hangouts. And you will also be able to invite people during your broadcast. You will also be able to manage your live streaming chat to share screen captures and to manage your cameraman. You can use the links button to share your live video page URLs with your viewers while you are live as well as to get a video embed URL too. Once you are ready to end your live streaming session, simply click on the stop broadcast button. And that's it. You can always check and edit your finished live events by going to the events tab. Smart Ways to Get More Subscribers on YouTube Marketers, business owners, influencers, or anyone depending on a social media following to keep afloat 
Nolan said increasing the number of fans and leads is essential to survival. Because where there is no following, there is no business. And that is true for YouTube as well. Perhaps more important than on any other platform. Because the number of subscribers and interactions that a channel gets is proportional to how financially successful it is going to be at any given moment. So the idea behind a successful YouTube channel is to keep increasing its number of subscribers. But how do channels get more subscribers than they already have? What is the secret behind those channels with over 100,000 subscribers? In this video, we are going to show you the strategies behind building a large following on YouTube and which are the smartest ways to get more subscribers on a daily basis. Posting new content on a regular basis. This might sound like a no-brainer, but you would be surprised by the number of people trying to make a killing on YouTube while relying on only a tiny handful of videos, well knowing that the secret behind engagement is a constant stream of content. This is because a small fraction of videos will only get you views on the few videos that you have uploaded, as people have no reason to subscribe to your channel if they are not served content on a regular basis. Now, when people like your videos and they see that you post on a regular basis, it is going to be much easier for them to watch your videos if they are subscribed to your channel. So make sure to create a schedule to release your video content to see that audience growing. Using smart calls to action. We've gotten used to calls to action that relentlessly try to sell stuff to people. And so we are also getting too cautious when using calls to action. Yet, calls to action do not require you to shout needy calls for purchase or website visits. Smart calls to action on YouTube can be as simple as asking your viewers to share your videos with someone that they know will like them. The key here is that you are creating commitment from your viewers. Because by the time that they share your videos, they are very likely to be subscribing as well. This is because hitting the subscribe button is a pretty easy thing to do. So doing that after sharing or commenting on your videos will happen by default. Optimize your video titles. Video titles are a great viewer magnet. Believe it or not. Because video titles speak to viewers that are looking out for certain content. So you have to be very careful of how you title your videos. Because they play a huge role when it comes to making people to want to click on your videos. The best way to optimize your video titles is by using keywords. Your keywords have to be directly related to the subject of your videos and the content in your videos, making your videos easier to be targeted in search results. Also, make sure to make your video title short, no more than 50 characters long. Customize your video thumbnails. People are visual learners, so you have to attract them through the eyes first to make a great first impression. Many marketers neglect their video thumbnails, leaving their videos unedited with an ugly video thumbnail taken straight from the raw video. So make sure to create attractive thumbnails that can grab the attention of people in such a powerful way that they will have no option but to subscribe. Make your videos no longer than 5 minutes. Long videos are best left for the movies and for documentaries, as YouTube videos are really successful when they are between 2.5 and, and 5 minutes long at most. This is because your videos will be competing for the attention span of viewers with a lot of other videos on the platform. By making your videos that are less than 5 minutes long, you will be making sure that your viewers can binge watch the videos on your channel in one sitting, which will prompt them to also hit the subscribe button later on. How to make money on YouTube with affiliate marketing. YouTube has rapidly become a money printing machine for many people, and making money on the YouTube platform is no longer about advertising revenue and paid subscriptions, because smart marketers have found other ways. We are talking about affiliate marketing, of course, which is one of the oldest and best ways to make money using the infinite pool of money making opportunities on the internet. In this video, we are going to guide you through the best ways to make money on YouTube with affiliate marketing. Produce video product reviews. One of the most popular subjects that you will find covered on YouTube videos is product reviews. People just love product reviews, and product reviews are a great opportunity to earn some good affiliate money on YouTube. This is because you can create an awesome, engaging product review, where you can promote your affiliate link for that product by simply sharing it in your descriptions. This way you can tell your viewers to follow the affiliate link on the description below the video 
right after your review starts and right before the video ends. Use link shortening services to post your affiliate links. Now, you have to be aware that long affiliate links are most likely to be ignored simply because these are not visually appealing and they make viewers think that you are just redirecting them to a sleazy offer. To avoid giving this impression, simply use a link shortening service such as Bitly or the Amazon link shortener if you're promoting Amazon affiliate products. Create an awesome affiliate website where you can embed your affiliate videos. You can use the classic affiliate marketing channel by creating a nice looking and responsive affiliate website where you can embed your affiliate marketing videos. This is a winner approach to YouTube affiliate marketing because many people will land on your affiliate offers through search engine results. And while product review videos are a favorite of Google, when it comes to showing results on its search engine results, it wouldn't hurt to embed all your marketing videos on your affiliate website because it will only help you to attract more viewers, but it will also increase your quality rank. You can also promote your affiliate website on your videos and your channel. And you can encourage your visitors to go to your affiliate website by creating content that can only be obtained through your website, such as free ebooks. Doing this will get you lots of leads that will be generating massive amounts of traffic to both of your affiliate marketing channels. Create quick videos to promote coupons and discount codes that can be applied to products that you promote. One of the easiest ways to push people to make impulse purchases is by giving them the slightest incentive, such as discount and promo codes. So a great way to encourage lots of sales through affiliate links is to create daily videos to promote coupon codes and promotions. You can promote products that are getting heavy discounts on specific dates, for example. Or you can search for codes on coupon sites such as Groupon.com and then promote juicy discount codes with quick videos on a daily basis. Always remembering to tell your viewers to follow the affiliate links in the description to properly apply these codes. An additional layer of strategy that you can apply here is by creating a sense of urgency around your codes. The quick nature of your videos will help, and you can take it further by using words such as today only or limited time offer. Include a link to your squeeze pages in your description. Affiliate marketers know that email marketing is a powerful sales driver because they can send well-crafted affiliate offers right to a person's inbox. The good news is that integrating your email marketing efforts within your YouTube videos is easier than you might think. You will only have to add a link to your squeeze pages on your video descriptions, encouraging your viewers to sign up so they can get the latest offers and product recommendations by email. How to get YouTube videos ranked. Getting your YouTube videos to reach the first page of results on YouTube is great, but getting your YouTube videos in the first page of results on YouTube and also ranking on the first page of results of Google is even better. Yes, ranking your videos is a very important practice that you should learn to apply right now. And in this video, we are going to show you how to properly use some high octane strategies that will allow you to get your YouTube videos ranked the smart way. Let's start by identifying video keywords, which are keywords that the Google algorithm identifies as relevant for results showing YouTube videos. In other words, video keywords are keywords that put YouTube videos on the first page of Google when you use them for your search. Normal keywords will show you only website results when you use them to make your Google searches. But when you use video keywords, Google reserves some space on its first page of results for YouTube videos. This is important to know and to apply because if you only target normal keywords, your videos will only be shown to people looking for stuff on YouTube. But if you include video keywords in your videos, they will be shown to people looking for stuff on Google too. Okay, so how do you find your video keywords you might be asking? The answer is pretty easy. You will simply have to use keywords in your niche alongside the following keywords. How to, review, tutorial, fitness or sports related keywords, fun related keywords such as cute and funny. That is because those keywords are commonly associated with the most popular types of content that you can find on the YouTube platform. This means that you have to use these keywords with the keywords that you plan to use for your titles. Let's show you an example with a product review using the how to make cold coffee keyword on Google. Here, we're using the how to video keyword with our cold coffee niche keyword. 
And as you can see, there are YouTube videos on the first page of results. Now that you know that your video keywords work, you will need to learn how to apply some good old search engine optimization to your YouTube videos right before uploading them. You have to start by your video title, which should be at least five words long, and to include your keywords at the very beginning of the title. This way, you will allow Google to read your video title without using keyword stuffing. Now comes the description. The optimization guidelines for video descriptions include inserting your keywords within the first 25 words of your descriptions from three to four times, and to make your description at least 250 words long. You can also include a link to your website or affiliate product at the beginning of the description to increase click-through rates on the former and conversions on the latter. Now, use the tags field to insert keywords related to your content. This will help you to teach both YouTube and Google what your videos are all about. And they will also help you to show your videos more often on the sidebar area when people watch videos related to your tags. Once your videos are search engine optimized, publish them and start promoting them to get better ranks. Because your ranks also depend on factors such as views, likes, and comments. Apply all the techniques shown in here, and you will be on every first page of results from now on. Using the YouTube Trending Feed for Market Research YouTube is a great platform for market development, and for encouraging businesses to try out new marketing strategies that will allow them to find new audiences and to keep growing on a modern sales channel. And for past videos or any indication, YouTube can also be a great platform for market research, as any topic that can be found on the internet is surely going to be covered by someone on a YouTube video right when such a topic starts going viral. And thinking about making it a platform that can make it easier for people to research stuff that can keep YouTube growing as a video sharing website in 2015, Google introduced the Trending tab, which features videos that are going viral at any given time. The Trending tab can be found on YouTube's front page, right below the search bar. As you can see, this Trending tab will show you the videos that, as the tab's name implies, are trending at the moment that you are checking it. In this video, we are going to show you how to use a Trending feed to do your own market research, so you can find stuff to discuss in your YouTube videos as well as on your other marketing channels. Let's start by giving you a technical explanation of how this trending feed works. As you can see here, the videos featured in here are not shown to you based on your viewing habits, as that would only show you videos that are related to your own criteria. This would be of benefit for showing you trending videos on your own niche, but keep in mind that such results will be somewhat limited and that you can do your own research by using niche keywords on YouTube and on Google to get better results. Instead, YouTube uses an algorithm that tracks user interactions on videos to position those that are a hot topic and on top of the list. The interactions that this algorithm tracks include comments, number of views, relevance of the topic in the video in relation to current events, and external references such as search engine queries. So, to use a trending feed for market research, you can start with the basics by going to the top results, which will show the hot video topics of the day. This is a great strategy, because this way you can use these topics to get inspiration and ideas to cover on your own videos, or on a news feed for your marketing blog. Top trending videos can show you which keywords you can use to get traffic on any given day. Checking out how recent top trending videos are doing will be a good sign of how much traffic you can get through those keywords at any given moment. In general, you should leverage the first two to three keywords on a video title, but sometimes these two to three keywords will be positioned at the end of the video. The best way to identify these keywords is by knowing which niche keywords have been placed in the title, as not every video title will have useful keywords. That is because some videos go viral only because of their content. So, another approach is to get keywords from the description of the video or from the comments in the video, because remember, the YouTube algorithm takes a lot of information from comments as well. Now, it is important that you consider that the trending feed shows different results for different locations, so users from each country can see what is trending in their respective territories. And you can leverage this fact to better target certain demographics in your audience. 
to see what is trending on a different country, simply go to the footer of the YouTube page while in the Trending tab and use the Content Location menu to change the country from where you are watching YouTube. This will show you the videos that are trending on the country of your choice. So you can serve trending content to members of your audience in those regions to encourage improved engagement from them. Use these tactics to make your research for content easier and you will see awesome results in no time. YouTube for Developers Every platform has a space for developers that can use their unique skills to create and deploy amazing applications that will allow users to use and interact with their platforms in a way that goes beyond its main function. And YouTube is no exception. The YouTube for Developers platform is a great way to integrate the YouTube experience on your own applications because it provides you with access to a nice selection of YouTube APIs that can help you to bring your digital products to life with video. You can access the YouTube for Developers platform by going to the youtube.com slash yt slash dev url on your browser, where you will find demos so you can see how YouTube APIs work in action, which is great for finding ideas for your next app implementation. There, you will also be able to find API resources that include documentation, sample codes and tutorials that will help you to get deeper into development using the YouTube application programming interfaces. Here, you will also find application showcases that will show you some great applications that you might not know were developed with YouTube APIs, as well as developer stories that will allow you to take a sneak peek of how far you can go with the YouTube for Developers platform. In the Demos tab, you will find several examples of how the application programming interface is working in real time, so you can get a nice idea of how you will be able to use them once you start integrating YouTube on your own applications. You can use the menu on the right side to deploy these API demos. So let's take a look. The Sentiment Analysis tool can help you to analyze how audiences react to videos by monitoring interactions such as comments using the YouTube Comments API. The Live widget will allow you to automate your YouTube live streams so you can harness the power of live video to create amazing experiences for your audiences and to build new fan bases. The YouTube Analytics API will allow you to chart and compare data as to gain insights from your audience. The Topic Explorer will make it easier for you to find the most relevant content and free-based topics through the YouTube Data API. Finally, the Upload widget will allow you to capture and upload video from any device the easy way with the YouTube Data API. Now, on the API Resources tab, you will find everything that you will ever need to get started on the YouTube for Developers platform such as API documentation, widgets and tools, the Analytics API, the Data API, Android resources, iOS resources, and the YouTube Developer Live channel. In the Showcase tab, you will find information about great and successful apps that were created using the YouTube for Developers platform, and you might be surprised to see that some of them may be installed on one of your devices right now. Lastly, the Developer Stories tab features several recounts from developers that have used the YouTube for Developers platform to build innovative applications that provide solutions to real-world problems. So, remember, if you want to integrate the amazing video sharing experience that YouTube provides with your own applications, there's no better place than the YouTube for Developers platform. Welcome to Section 4 of our YouTube Marketing 3.0 Video Training, Additional Tips to Consider. In this section, we'll talk about do's and don'ts, premium tools and services to consider, shocking case studies, and frequently asked questions. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Do's and Don'ts You are bound to commit mistakes when you first start getting into something, whether it is fishing or doing video marketing on the internet. And even seasoned marketers are not completely safe from the occasional mess-up. And when you don't stumble, you are likely to just dismiss good strategies that could give you a heads-up. So in this video, 
we are going to teach you the do's and the don'ts of YouTube marketing, so you are ready to do only your best right from the get-go. Do's. Make sure that your content is always fresh and served on a regular basis. We already told you about the importance of producing evergreen content on a regular basis, but it is also important to mention that the content has to be optimized to target your audience interests and to provide value for your viewers. Keep your videos consistent with the keywords that you use on your titles and descriptions. We already showed you how to optimize your videos for rankings, but you have to be careful to only use keywords that are concise with the actual content in your videos. Make it all visually attractive, not only on your videos, but also on your channel. Attractive channel presentation is a great factor when it comes to attracting new subscribers, so make sure to take good care of how your thumbnails, banners, and channel trailer look. Always monitor your channel's performance. There is a reason why YouTube features statistics for each one of your videos besides making your dashboard to look cool. Also, make sure to integrate your channel with any other marketing channel that you run to have a complete overview of your efforts. Create playlists for related videos. So you can guide your viewers as well as your channel visitors into binge watching your videos by setting a playlist by categories that might be preferred by certain people in your audience. Don'ts. Don't submit low quality videos. You already know that the best videos are those that look nice and clean, but you might be tempted to upload a video on a whim somewhere down the line when pressure to deliver content. Don't do it. Always make sure that your videos keep up with the highest of production quality standards. Don't use number of viewers as the only metric that you track to measure your performance. Remember that your objective might be different than getting a large number of viewers, such as if you were doing videos to promote affiliate offers, in which case you will need to track user engagement through click-through rates. Don't always put your most watched videos on top of your video lists, because this can hamper your channel's performance by outright telling your channel visitors that those are the only videos worth watching, creating a situation where they will skip the rest of your videos, which they won't perceive as good. If you want to showcase your top-rated videos or the videos that have gotten the latest number of views, you can instead create playlists that target those metrics through keywords such as most watched or highest ranked playlists. Don't neglect sound quality. This is too often an overlooked aspect of video marketing because lots of marketers only think of the word video when it comes to quality. That is why you can find many videos in YouTube with muffled or outright ugly sound production. What makes good sound quality? Nice background music at a lower volume than your voiceovers. Clean and sharp sound quality and normal default volume includes some of the elements in awesome sound quality. Don't oversaturate your marketing videos with effects. Special effects such as transitions are a great way to boost the attractiveness factor in your videos, but it can become annoying if you overuse them. Premium Tools and Services to Consider Every expert needs a toolbox to help him or her into making the best out of their expertise. And YouTube marketing experts are no exception. But coming up with a really useful YouTube marketing toolbox is a really daunting task that requires lots of trial and error. And that is why we are going to show you the best tools and services available to YouTube marketers with a curated list of tools that you can use to get ahead of your competition without having to deplete your budget and time while trying every tool on the market until you find the best ones, because we already did it for you. Birdsong YouTube Analytics a Birdsong's amazing analytics tool is a kind of tool that you need to automate your competitor spying tasks. Competitive analysis is important to apply on any YouTube marketing campaign because it will allow you to identify what is working best for top marketing channels. Having this information at hand will help you to better engage with your visitors and also would teach you proven ways to better attract new viewers by reverse engineering what has worked for many other successful YouTube marketers. The Birdsong YouTube Analytics tool will give you access to over 30 types of metrics in easy-to-read tables and charts to analyze account data that will allow you to check the number of views, likes, and comments that your most successful competitors are getting on their videos and to get a data analysis report that you can use on your offline research. What this all means 
as that will allow you to know the best times to upload videos in order to get liked, the best days to upload certain types of videos, the best times to upload and get comments, to know how video duration affects engagement in certain niches, and which types of words are captioned the most, among many other metrics. Canva. We mentioned in our past videos in this training that there is a graphic design aspect to YouTube marketing that has to be approached with an artful eye, because catchy and attention-grabbing thumbnails are pretty much guaranteed to get lots of clicks to your videos on searches and on recommended video feeds. And the good news is that designing awesome-looking and high-converting thumbnails for your videos is a very easy process when you know the right tools to use, and Canva is our choice in that department because Canva will allow you to use custom thumbnail templates that you can use to create your thumbnails in record time. Canva is a premium tool that will allow you to create amazing video images on a freemium model, which means that you can create and save your thumbnails for free, but you can also pay for professionally made templates and cards. Drum up. Have you ever found yourself ready to post your awesome new marketing content on social media? And then you realize the enormous and time-consuming effort that you will have to put in towards posting it on each one of your social media channels. Even just thinking about it can be pretty intimidating. But we have found a solution to that with DrumUp, a social media automation tool that you can use to schedule your new videos to be promoted on your social media channels with a few clicks of your mouse. It will allow you to add multiple Twitter accounts, multiple Facebook accounts, and a LinkedIn account and then to promote your marketing videos more effectively through its one-click schedule feature. Full screen medias and cards template. Let's not forget about video annotations. To get viewers to take action on your videos, so you can get more likes and subscribers. And for that, we recommend you to use the end cards template from full screen media. This template offers you customizable calls to action that include a logo button, a subscribe button, and additional thumbnail image buttons that you can use to insert recommended videos the easy way. Shocking case studies. The following are the stories of some of the marketers, businesses, and individuals that have made it big on the YouTube platforms by following only the best marketing strategies available. And we want to share them with you so you can follow their example and then lead the way for the new marketers to come. BlendTech BlendTech is easily one of the most recognizable and beloved channels all across YouTube around the world. They are famous for their Will It Blend videos, where they simply use blenders to see if they can crush certain objects. Their initial objective of the guy behind Blendtec, Tom Dixon, was to use the videos for product demonstrations. The people behind Blendtec followed the principle of less is more when they started uploading the product demonstration videos. Then after finding out they could get millions of views with such a simple approach, they decided to make their videos into comedy sketches. The first few videos posted on the channel brought in a massive 6 million views on the channel, and currently, the channel holds a record 281 million views. PlayStation The PlayStation channel serves as the home for everything PlayStation related on YouTube. You might know the PlayStation brand as one of the leading platforms in the ever-growing gaming industry. The objective behind the PlayStation channel has been always to have a place where PlayStation fans can find amazing video content featuring their favorite brand, as well as to attract new customers and followers by showcasing amazing gaming productions. A PlayStation strategy is simple. It uses branding tactics that allows people to immediately recognize the PlayStation brand. It also relies on unique content related to their products. PlayStation was one of the fastest growing channels in the year 2013, attracting over 2 million subscribers in that year alone, and it currently has over 5 million subscribers from all around the world. GoPro GoPro is a tech company that specializes in video equipment. From its humble origins back in 2002, it has become a household name that is now synonymous to the action cam term because that is their main line of products. The company's initial objective was centered around demonstrating the usefulness of early GoPro products on their YouTube channel. They shifted gears right around the time when they started getting their first million views 
by encouraging people to provide them with user-generated content, which proved to be a killer strategy. The GoPro channel got its first 1.8 million subscribers soon after making their initial call for user-generated content, which also helped them to up their revenue in 2013 to $234 million just by introducing YouTube in their marketing efforts. LSTN Sound Company LSTN is a company that specializes in producing high-end wood-encased headphones, and they are mostly known because of their cause-oriented business ventures. The company's objective was to simply give back to a community that has helped them to grow by promoting headphones for the hearing impaired on YouTube. Their strategy was to send their message as clear as possible with their videos, to let people know that they were targeting a good cause. Using the For Every Headphone We Sell, we help restore hearing to a person in need message on their videos. Their YouTube marketing campaign made the company able to reach their goal of helping over 22,000 people in nine different countries, including Peru, Mexico, China, and the U.S. Rockenbach Education The Rockenbach company started as a small toy producing line back in the early 90s. They focus on producing high-quality children's construction and educational toys. With the decline of brick-and-mortar stores, the company decided that it needed a new channel to promote and market their product lines, so they decided on YouTube. The company has used stop-motion videos showcasing their toys while using construction-related keywords in their video titles and descriptions to attract kids interested in the kind of toys that the company produces. Rockenbach has reported that over 50% of the new customers come from watching their products in action on the YouTube platform since their first foray back in 2006. Frequently Asked Questions Congratulations! If you have made it this far on our training, you have surely learned a whole lot about how to make YouTube marketing the right way. Yet we believe that you might need some assistance along the way. And that is why we have prepared a brief video to give you a heads up on some frequently asked questions about YouTube marketing. What type of video content should you create? First off, you have to create videos that are related to the niche or business that you are going to market and promote. As creating videos that are unrelated to what your target audience wants, will not allow you to get new customers only because you are uploading more content to your channel. What type of videos are there? You might be mostly familiar with in-person videos, where there is a host discussing the topic in front of the camera. But the truth is that there are several types of video, and each type of video is better suited for certain content. In-person videos. Videos featuring people in front of the camera are the most common videos out there especially when it comes to marketing and business-oriented videos. Many people get nervous in front of a camera, but being camera-friendly is a skill that you can develop over time. The good thing about these videos is that you can edit and repurpose them to give them an extra edge or a cleaner, more professional look and feel, depending on what you're going to cover in your videos. Live streams. Live streams are a variation of the in-person videos. Whereas you are recording a video that you can easily stop and repeat, a live stream is a live broadcast. Live streams are better suited for videos where you want to interact with your viewers. Screen capture videos. Screen capture videos have become a common staple of the YouTube marketing world because they allow marketers to record on-screen actions that can be shown in YouTube videos using screen recording software. Slideshow videos. These are the type of videos where you can paste images and text to create a slideshow presentation often with an audio or voice track. Is number of views an important metric? It depends on what you're trying to achieve. If your goal is to earn as much ad revenue as possible, absolutely, views are important. But there is a metric that might be more important than the number of views that you get. We are talking about engagement, of course, which on YouTube can be identified as click-through rates. You can have over 1 million views and only 100 clicks, which is not helping you to earn any revenue either from advertising or affiliate marketing. So the best approach is to create quality content that can encourage your viewers to interact with your content, your links, and the ads shown on your channel. Can I buy subscribers and likes? Well, there are places and people out there promising you to get your channel over 100,000 views or subscribers in record time, 
we don't recommend you to hire their services because, you see, the YouTube algorithm is pretty good at detecting fraudulent interactions on videos uploaded to the platform. That is mostly because social proof is built over time. And reaching 1,000 views or subscribers is not that easy at first for most, let alone 100,000. The best approach to keeping your audience growing is by getting backlinks to your videos, which you can do by creating amazing content and interacting with other content creators that can help you to get your content out there. Can I use music on my marketing videos? You can, but make sure that you are not using songs that are subjected to hard copyright rules. Otherwise, your channel can get a copyright strike. We recommend you to use music from the free music library in your channel's dashboard.